ladies and gentlemen, this is John Conti in Honda Rica, somewhere east of Cuba. The picture you're about to see is of such importance, we're putting the credits last. So get your sticky fingers out of the popcorn box and pay attention, please. Now, the film stars Robert Lowry, Marvin Miller, Jackie Coogan, Ingeborg Kelson, James Ellison, Jeff Stone, Don Durrell, Tommy Cook, and True Ellison. Executive producer Bernard DeSennan, associate producer S.A. Sanford. Music by Ben Oakland, screenplay by Sam Roca. Producer-director Russell Hayden. The scenes you are watching were shot from a stolen camera. And we'll bring you back momentarily. But right now, here's New York City. Take it away, Dr. Billingsgate. And the whole earth was of one language. And they said, let us build us a tower to heaven. And the Lord came down to see what the children of men builded. And he was angry. And he said, let us confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. And he did this. And they called it the Tower of Babel. Incidentally, the Republic of Honda Rica is offering a resolution to quash the Venezuelan resolution denouncing Cuba's denunciation of the Dominican Republic. Indeed, this is a time for circumspection in all things, for tolerance and for forbearance. The dignity of men is at stake, firmly dedicated to a belief in self-reliance and self-determination. The Republic of Honduras. Ничего, как понимаю, нет, нет, да русский, да русский. Deplores any suggestion of intervention in the internal affairs of any other nation, and therefore votes to shelve the resolution now before the assembly. Obnoxious group, are they not? We. you on the television. Huh? You were maravilloso. Bonjour, Monsieur de Chien, bonjour. Gracias. Mm, mia bonita. Merci, ma chérie. Mon Ah, uh, It's very, very dangerous to flatter an old rogue. <laughs> Any word for my daughter? Merci, Monsieur. I would surely receive a message of some sort from Francoise. This is not like her. But she has disappeared before, monsieur, for many weeks at a time. But she has never forgotten my birthday, Captain. Never. We. Oui. Where are the pilots from class airlines? They've not arrived yet, monsieur. Huh? However, there are communications from the Walder. Also, there's a letter from El Presidente. Merci. The president will want to know how our sugar promotion is coming along. <laughs> we have not yet promoted a nickel. It is the rumors of the revolution. Please. You dignify such nonsense by giving voice to it. This must be the insurance bond I demanded of them. It should have been delivered to us before they flew our display from Honduras. Huh? Engine check holding a bond, meanwhile, here are several of the tabs we mentioned, Steve and Stoney. <laughs> 2,000 maintenance. Interest and collection fees, 400. Hull repairs, wing fabric. Oh, dear, these bills total more than their plane is worth. We do not pay them. I have to. When I chartered their plane, I promised to pick up any minor bills which might have accumulated during their absence. Shoot them. Mr. 
monsieur. Make yourself at home, Longhorn. We'll be with you in a minute. Yeah, uh, look over the sugar display. Just what I had in mind, boys. Henri, your sorrows are over. Yeah, we only need a couple of grand to clean the gumbo out of our fuel system. Oh, but monsieur, I could do it here. You know, we have uh, diplomatic immunity. Chicken feet. See that rangy pal of ours over there? Goes by the name of Axel Gates. The oil man? Oil and you name it. Only reason he's east is the government asked him if he could pay his taxes early this year. We've stirred up his appetite for sugar. All you gotta do is sweeten it and close. Easy, easy. Yeah, I think the uh, going introduction to Longhorn is, uh, what, four grand on the stock market? We chop it in half for our friends. It'll be 2,000. Give them 500. We accept. Now look, Henri. Longhorn deals straight, so don't feed him any snow. Talk facts, say exactly what you mean. This is asking the impossible of a diplomat, but I shall try. Longhorn! I want you to meet His Excellency, Monsieur Henri Degere. This is Mr. Axel Gates. Enchanté. Howdy. Boy, you speak right highly of you, sir. I must confess, your exhibit has caught my fancy. Uh, floor samples, they show a good deal of wear and tear. We'll see you later at the Waldo. Oh, boy. I've uh, lassoed these little ladies. Bring along some steaks. I got a sunk tub in my suite. We'll have ourselves a pit barbecue. Got we'll be there. Deal. Monsieur, am I to understand that uh, this represents the output of one acre of sugar cane? Oh, we, oui, monsieur. With a worldwide surplus of sugar, Andorica has concentrated on developing the byproducts, utilizing the cane fiber, the pulp, the syrup, even the shuckers? We. Oui. <laughs> if you will pardon us, please. Permettez-moi. Instead of offering only pure sugar, we will provide rum, many other types of spiritus liquors, a light wine, commercial alcohol, all sorts of wool coverings, paints, varnishes, lacquer, stains, even glue. Ah, we can manufacture bags, both ornamental and utility, from, uh, as you say, the shuckings. <laughs> from spun sugar, we will be able to provide an ornamental glass, which is unbreakable, even the miracle of a lovely pearl. <laughs> also from spun sugar, we can provide ceramics. They are extremely lightweight and but the most important, and I think the greatest revenue producer, pardon, one moment, will be our fabrics. Look at this. It will come in all textures, practically indestructible, absolutely color fast. Thank you very much. I believe, and I say believe, I can interest Venezuelan capital into assuming uh, a substantial portion of the burden. I don't like cluttered up deals. If I go into this thing, I'll go whole hog. You mean you can handle it by yourself entirely? If I get a little crowded, I can always sell pot of Dallas. What concerns me, Monsieur, is this uh, Maximo Toro. He's announced he's going to take over Honda Rica. Oh, Maximo Toro is an idiot, an upstart, as you say, uh, a pip and a squeak. Pay no attention to anything you read about him. Well, now, Monsieur, I've been confiscated out of about 10 Latin American countries. And I'm beginning to get a little saddle sore. That picture of Maximo's insignia was taken on your capital steps. Seems to me he's got four horses in town. Oh, we have his devoted followers are just a lot of sour grape artists from every bunch put Castro in. Oh, oh geez. The Cubans are Spanish. They take their politics seriously. And the Ricans are half French. We treat politics as a plaything and confine our violence to the bedroom. No self-respecting on the Rican would so much as mention the name of Maximo Toro. As a matter of fact, if they do, they get shot. A birthday greeting from your Dr. Francois. Ah. Oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> oh, uh, my daughter Francoise was the source of inspiration for the entire Sugar Byproducts Development Corporation, monsieur. 
Uh, a right fetching little lady. Have a cigar? Oh, let's see. Yeah. Well, no use of us join, Monsieur. Clean up that Puno bunch, and I just might mosey down to have a look-see in the sugar. Your trip will be very rewarding, I assure you, Monsieur. Adios. Uh, au revoir. Precious. Observations of the noon chat. My social reform manifesto is already well known to the world. I want you should begin by a K K K a biography. Ah, uh, C biography. I want you should begin my biography by say, I was born a. Proud, humble parents in the small village of San Cristobal. Our blood has never been diluted by the French. We've always admired strength. Indeed, that is why my father, he has named me El Maximo Toro, which translates to the most bold. I better rephrase that. Okay. Oh, no. Very good. See, si. Tomorrow we will discuss the women who have uh, influenced my life. <laughs> Speaking of women, senor, the men are beginning to resent you having this woman in camp. Mono! You want food, you climb for it. The next time you waste the bullet, I waste one more on you. So the men all resent, huh? I will see about this. Wait, see! I have ordered you to drill. On the light! Idiots! Form a column! Pronto! You call yourself Puno! Chactro! Pigs! You are resent because I have this woman here, huh? You fools, you like to fight with broomsticks for rifles? It is because of this woman that I am a famed rifle. See, and ammunition. Even now, my emissary is just the capital to negotiate. They will succeed, and me, Puno, we will take Hondo Rico within the week. <laughs> And to prepare for this triumph, uh, you sleep in the sand and turn to jellyfish. For this, you will run once around the compound. On the double! The last hombre to come back will be shot! Angelay, Angelay. Never meet. Maximo, tell your baboons to run in the law. I am leaving. Me more, you cannot be serious. Hey, father, what has made you so angry? Just say I've had enough punio. In fact, I've begun to doubt you are in the light of the 20th century. You have had too much sun. Me Corazon, you know I would die if you should leave me. I wish you were so brilliant, darling, and so convincing. At first, this was to be a bloodless coup. Now, it threatens to become very messy. Pillar tells me you are getting rifles. I assure you, the struggle will be brief. Where are you getting them? I have played a small trick on your father. Uh, See, si, I have told him you are being held hostage. For your freedom, he will give me government rifles. 
and his position will be very simple for him. You see, they are stored in the gold government fortress. He is bringing them by boat tonight. Perhaps you will get a chance to talk to him. Maximo, this is in very bad taste. Don't be ridiculous, my sweet. But you are compromising my father. You are driving him to an act of treason. Nonsense, my treasure. Your father has served on the Rico well for many years. He deserves to retire. See, I intend to make him president. Already I have commissioned a statue of him to be erected next to mine in La Grande Plaza. You wretch! You cheap, bearded, loudmouth! Oh, is he there? What are you doing? Let's go! Let's go, he's it again. Oh, I sure wish I had a tamale like that. Look, Bezier, it's now or never. You want to see your daughter alive again? Deliver the rifles at dawn. Be reasonable, man. I can't drive out of there with a truckload of rifles. The sentries would stop me. Look, you can lower the rifle crates from the top of the seawall by rope. A couple of my boys and I will be there to help you. Monsieur, you have no choice. I would assist you. No, no. There's no point in your getting yourself involved in this, mon capitaine. Monsieur, my troubles are your troubles. My uniform will be of help. I will need uh, two of your men. Now you're being smart. Pops, that daughter of yours is a real gasser. Oh, this is terrible. I want Francoise not to get near that, that egomaniac. He trapped her. Monsieur, you can become a national hero. An hero? What are you talking about? By taking the rifles, we find out where Toro is encamped. And with a little luck, we can also rescue your daughter without handing over the rifles. You, you mean deceive them, eh? Le double croix. The moment we rescue your daughter, zoot! And we make a getaway, eh? You know, this notion is beginning to appeal to me. Mon capitaine, let's have a brandy. Oh, <laughs> Here until I call you. Do you not see that dirty emblem on the wall? Go erase it. We oui. I thought I would misappropriate government property for personal reasons. For security reasons. We are after my daughter. We are reconnoitering El Puño. Momo. Puño, appear on the double. to be up before Reveille. Hurry! Push it!
Outside of that, the fort is in excellent appearance. Merci, monsieur. Yes, your Capitaine. My personal commendations to the guard. Even if they left a half hour after dawn, sir, they're still way overdue. I think perhaps the wisest thing to do is to let her loose, sir. Maximo determined the strategy here, Henderson. Clutch is so named because he is reliable in the clutch. <laughs> I have make a joke. <laughs> yes, sir. Keep away! I will scratch out your eyes! I will beat you! You are pig! Leave, leave! Keep away! No one is going to hold me, Captain! Go! I tell you, go! I thought of a plan, monsieur. Vraiment? Hey, Captain, follow the coastline. We are in a very bad situation, Captain. Do not worry, monsieur. I have a plan. You will see. What is your plan, Captain? About ten minutes out. What are you going to do? I brought along a convincer, monsieur. Maybe they cannot swim. All of you, overboard! Kaput! He's throwing what they call a pineapple! You got her! She's blown out! from over there, General. They are escaping. After them, Angela, Angela! Capitaine, look! Put your soldiers! Very important industrialists are waiting to see your sugar exhibits. And I believe our presidente will be so impressed 
that he will forgive you for today's so-called uh, indiscretion. Captain, you are a Gibraltar of optimism in the face of adversity. We have lost everything, and Maximo still has my daughter. Huh. You forget the American pilot. They have the means and the equipment to, uh, to take us out of our dilemma, and I believe that they are foolish enough to attempt it. Hmm. There may be a way of hope at that. Monsieur. Uh -huh. You bait a trap with money, you catch them every time, huh? Very wise, very <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Most of those sugar products were custom processed. The Jer will never be able to replace them. Well, we might as well relax and drown. He's gonna slit our throats anyway. Well, do not be so pessimistic. He might slit his own throat instead. Caribbean land and sea service. Class. You gotta call us out that Caribbean catastrophes. See, he's one string of emergencies and IOUs. Plus, you owe me. It has occurred to me, Skipper, you owe me six months back pay plus. Your pay was in that sugar cargo we just scuttled. Why didn't you check those engines before we left New York? We gave you the dough. I did. And why'd they quit? Fatigue. All right, Rasmo. Let's throw out the footlockers. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, Skipper. Uh, uh, let us scuttle the diving gear. Are you kidding? With this pelican about ready to fold her wings, that gear's only bread and butter. But. All right, come on out. I told you we were tail heavy. Rasmo? <laughs> such a cute little mouse, no? Oh, such a cute little mouse, yes. She's got everything but a visa. Por favor, senores. It's not Rasmo's fault. I beg him. I bet it took a lot of coaxing. All right, Rasmo, where'd you slip her aboard? When we got up in Virginia Islands. Oh, such a poor little kid. Her boyfriend's come off to Honduras and not right, so she come to find him. Well, we appreciate you trying to help her, Rasmo. But do you realize the penalty for assisting an illegal entry into Honduras? Penalty? Five years in the Bastille. That includes all three of us. Hey, baby, how well you swim? Please, senores, I know where to go. Just get me into port. I sleep off sheep after dark and sneak into town. Come on, Skipper, you get us out of worse pickermans. Those custom inspectors have got it in for us. Yeah, especially Sweet Tooth. They always give our ship a real working over, honey. They'll find you for sure. They'll find out we scuttled the sugar exhibit, too. We've got to get to Jajera with some kind of story first. 
Hey, I've got a notion. I knew it. Contact Harbor Control and tell them to have an ambulance standing by. All right, in the meantime, let's get at those engines and see if we can get this Pelican off the water. That's it, Skeeper. Okay, let's give it a try. I told you I'd fix it. This afternoon, Your Excellency. Good. I am counting on these Venezuelan financiers. And as you know, they are leaving Ando Rica tomorrow night. They will be able to see the display in the morning. Excellent. Now, Monsieur, it has arrived at the point where we must treat this rebel movement seriously. Oh, I fully agree, Monsieur. No one is going to invest in sugar development so long as this idiot Maximo Toro continues to scream about nationalizing the program. I suggest we take the offensive. Good. Have your attaché pick up those rifles at the old fortress and take them down to the armory. Oui, monsieur. I want them issued to the guard tomorrow. It, it will be done, monsieur. Oh, mon capitaine, will you wear a blindfold or just... Monsieur, we are not ready as yet for the firing squad. But the American pilots are our only hope of recovering the rifles and they are six hours overdue. I wouldn't be surprised if that old dub of theirs had fallen into the ocean and sunk. Maybe all we can do is hope. I have given up hope. I do not see any chance of their arriving in time they to get the exhibit ready for our friends from Venezuela. Now, thank you. Please. Sweet Tooth. Yeah, getting smarter every day. Ah, I was so happy to hear you arrive. I decided to drive the ambulance myself. You will not remove cargo, s'il vous plaît, before inspection. Hey, uh, Sweet Tooth, have some sweets. This is Rasmo, Sweet Tooth. He's pretty sick. Hmm. Mm, the stomach? I'm afraid it's the bubonic plague. Le malade noir? Sacre bleu! I will not drive him to the hospital. Well, then we will. There is a law against having the plague in Andorica. I 
rest assured, messieurs, there will be stern disciplinary measures. Come on, let's get out of here. Do it again, baby. Where to, Conchita? The club caddy. Yeah, we've been rolled there. Hey, nice going, Skeeper. The bubonic plague. I do not care what they have. Where are they? Ambassade. That is an ambulance, sir, and turn right. Right. Dance and sing, but never worry about the thing. Yes, Hondo Rica, Hondo Rica, land of beauty, land of laughter. Land of laughter. What do you mean coming in here sounding like the cops? We just in a little hurry to get some beer. Do you mind taking that cannon out of my back? Senores, these amigos, they are friends of mine. They help me. I have come here to find my friend. Yeah, who is he? An Americano, uh, Bill Henderson. No kidding. Bill wrote me three months ago. Say, so maybe I can contact him here. That's his writing, all right. Hey, Maria, beer's all around. These people are Pruno. Your Bill is Maxi Boy's right-hand man. Does all his writing and the deep thinking for him. Bill, he is very smart. Jared would like to know about this time, huh? If we play our cards right, we should find out some information. Maybe it'll take the sting out of losing to Jared's cargo. Right. This Maximo, who is... Oh. From what we hear, Maximo Torres is going to have the Hondo Rica in his hip pocket in about six weeks. Uh -uh, sooner than that. So your boy Bill's in bed. Unfortunately, Chick, we can't take you up to camp. Not just yet. Maxi boy don't allow no dames up there. Except for Phil. Oh, oh, he's got a little hellcat up there. He treats like the Queen of Sheba. Dig this bit. Every time we sneak into town, we've got to buy a perfume yet. Can Bill possible come here to see me? Maxi boy should give him a night off. Hey, Maria. You got a spare room for this chicken? Si, si, senor Cloche. That is very kind, senora. I will cook. Also, I sing and dance. Hmm, maybe not so good. Well, this is your day, Melissa. Let's struggle a lap or two, huh? Land of beauty, land of laughter. We work, we play, we dance and sing. I never worry. Now you keep smiling while I yammer. We don't care what your boy Bill's in real hot water. You see, this, this Puno bunch is trying to overthrow the government. And if you're caught here, you'll be shot on sight, no question. What shall I do? You go ahead and take the room, but slip out tonight and check into the Hotel Metropole. We got some kind of credit there. There it is! Stop! Back up! Make a men off these sugar byproducts. Don't I know it? Stoney and I just flew the sugar exhibit back from the UN. How big's your force? A couple of hundred men. That's not the problem. We need guns and bread. You know, like Do Re Mi. Cargo, bubonic plague, smuggled dames, stolen ambulance, plus...
consider this a healthy association. Please let me off with the next corner. Hang on! Seashells. Turn around! We shook him. Good. We better double back to the ship and blow this island. Captain, I believe we've been chasing the same rebels. Now, the last I saw, they were heading... Pardon, the escapade is unimportant. His Excellency, Monsieur Desjardins, wishes you to come to lunch in his study. Lunch? Lunch. Lunch. Rasmo, this is high echelon. Take the ambulance back. Uh, grab yourself a sandwich and get at that pump. Engines, too. We've been ready to shut. Siempre me dan todos los trabajos sucios y no dinero. About that sugar exhibit, Henri, we... Uh, uh, we have more urgent matters to discuss, my friends. Uh, Courvoisier, 
Slug wouldn't hurt. <coughs> you are? Gentlemen, my daughter Francoise has plunged me into the worst mess of my life. My career is at stake. Francoise? I thought she was safely ensconced in Vassar. Oh, she ran away with the janitor there. But that was four affairs ago. Now she has gotten herself involved with Maximo Toro. Al Pugno? For free. And he's holding the little idiot for ransom. Gentlemen, I am sorry. I've been so upset I cannot eat. It's understandable. What kind of ransom? Judging from that talk I had with that slob in the club, I'd say, uh, rifles and money. I have already committed treason by handing over the rifles. Not exactly treason, monsieur. <laughs> Captain Toussaint means it was not my intention to hand over the rifles. You see, in an effort to rescue my daughter, I went through the motions, uh, actually transporting the rifles to Toro's camp. Then a skirmish ensued. We lost the rifles in most serene waters, very close to shore. So, that was last night. This morning I received this communication from my daughter Francoise. I shall translate. Dearest Papa, again you are right and I am wrong and love is a deceit. <laughs> Hindsight kills me. Maximo is a wretch. Loss of the rifles threw him into a rage and he now demands 200,000 good. That's $50,000 American. Before he will release me. For goodness sake, pay him and let him have a silly revolution. Conditions here in his hideout are impossible. Your attempt to rescue me was very sweet. I adore you. And I hope you are keeping out of Monsieur Francois. Uh, a little scamp. Are those rifles sealed? We in Cosmoline. Now, you men have diving gear aboard your plane. How deep's the water? Oh, I would say in about uh, 10 meters. Del Toro will try and salvage him, too. If he does, I will be shot, of course. Well, it'll take him a while to get a hoisting rig. Oui, we, uh, if you move your customary ingenuity, you should have no trouble at all. Mm -hmm. Other than passing bullets. Now, yeah. now, Maximo is in camp just south past Point Elbe. An ideal spot for a landing. Here is the ransom money. If you are able to recover the rifles and rescue my daughter without having to pay Toro, the money is yours. Better just about erase the liens against us. Yeah. We'll beat Toro of those rifles and we'll leave the poor devil of your daughter to boot. Uh, incidentally, Henri, uh, we thought it best to scuttle the cargo. We... I am sure you acted wisely. Now hurry, please. Uh, please. We will talk about sugar later. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we have succeeded. Now, if only they can pull it off. And if only we could give them some ground support. That word, uh, scuttle. Scuttle, I... That is an English game, is it not? No, 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 no. You're thinking of skittles. Uh, give me the dictionary. Skittles. 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 Ah, here it is. An opening or hatchway in the outer hull of a deck to a verb, to dump, jettison, throw overboard, get rid of, ditch, or abandon. Oh, dear. I Take his mind off sugar. 
As a matter of fact, I've decided to finance the whole program. That is, as soon as we can mop up on this here Maximo Toro. Oh, well, uh, that is excellent. Uh, uh, but let's see, the army is out of town, but... Ah, who needs an army? Where's Steve and Stoney? By coincidence, they are on their way to deal with El Toro themselves. Sounds like a good old-fashioned fracas. Well, time's a wasting, ladies. Like we discussed it. We mobilize pronto. Get every single gal in town and meet me at my hotel tomorrow at noon. See you later, boys. Oh, Patadone, are you using your longhorn gate? Yeah, honey, can I help you? Possible, my Americano boyfriend. He is maybe in trouble with El Puno, and I wish to help him. Well, now, senorita, you come right along with me. I'll buy you a new dress and we'll mobilize in the morning. <laughs> tomorrow, Maria. Hundred feet. It is too deep to salvage the rifle crates by skin diving. We need oxygen tanks. Also a lifting pulley. It is about time. Did you deliver Francois's message? Yeah, and I bought a perfume too. Ain't this sweet? San Miguel is wide open for the taking. Soldiers are out on maneuvers, and here we set. No guns, no plans. The sheriff's not gonna pay you any money to take her back. More than likely, Maxi boy is gonna take your keeper. Two things. Oh no, I do not like this snake's name, Maxi. Thus, no one shoves things at Maximo. If we cannot salvage these rifles, I will buy rifles with the money I expect from the sheriff. Send someone to Hockmel for a diving board. See, si, General. But, General, that will take a week. Now is the time to strike. We are not prepared, you imbecile. Without money and guns, I am nothing. Weep these things! You are still nothing! Wait. You should not talk to me like that in front of my men. It will maybe destroy my image in their eyes. Here is your perfume. It must be wonderful to be so in love with yourself. And without any competition. You know something? I've had about enough of you. Poor dear liar. You know you're still badly in love with me. And angry because I no longer share the emotion. I do not want your cheap perfume. Francois, the men do not think your father wants any money. I hope he doesn't. I wish now I hadn't written him the letter. What? You will send him another. Oh. See, si, and you will tell him I will strangle you if he does not pay. Stay down. Do not move. It's no fun. The sheer fed up. It's a drown the day. What? Is what it say. The sheer fed up. Have gear, we'll dive. For 100 bucks, we'll salvage your rifle. If deal, flag us. If not, adios. 
flagged him. Fraser, please. I've got my out of it. Of Get her out of here. Let me go. Stop dragging me. Put me down. We are praying for Mike. I'll back up your eyes. Isn't that Francois? Looks like she's in trouble. Francois, take a lung up forward, and when you see me, drop it over the side. If you could fly these. I used to ferry these in the APC. You know you could place this up and fly around like a dictator should. What is that you say? You mean uh, fly around like the liberator of the people should. That is much better. I like it. I, Maximo, will have it. Keeper's coming up. We got the guns and the girl. To share, I have to explain the boat. What was that? I, uh, just a little live ammunition. Well, let's crank her up and blow, huh? Wind her up and we'll tax it towards the pier. Right. Well. Just show us a hundred bucks. Here's the mint. Blood. Let them have it here now? Absolutely not. I want the whole world to witness a fair trial before they are shot. Oh, muchas gracias, senor. Por not. Huh. So this is the double cross, huh? Lutch, take care of the one in the pilot's compartment. I shall kill you for this. I caramba, how do you kill a woman? So 
Oh, you little ladies like this, huh? Oh, it's adorable, Longhorn. You're just like Capitan Sun. And if you like to buy a senor, the payments are very low. Yes. My senor, I'll take the whole kitten caboodle. Kitten caboodle? The whole bunch. Come on, girls, let's mobilize. <laughs> People of Hondurica, friends, amigos, compañero, and fellow puño, this is your rebel radio bringing to you from your puño stronghold, the voice of your deliverer, Maximo Toro. Mi compañero al puño! Good faith and pictures are reward! Alas, your hour is arrived. I am with arms. Manana, I strike. I urge you, rise up! Mañana we fill a grand plaza with the spirit of liberty. We have nothing to fear. Under my guidance, we shall have all that men want, crave, desire, and hunger for. The fruits of life, mi puño. In brief, plenty for fire. We now have an air arm, poised to strike. And for this, you may thank these venturesome interlopers who sought personal gain at the expense of those who fought so nobly. Henderson, I am run out of speech. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah? You wouldn't be Bill Henderson, would you? Yeah, what about it? Oh, nothing. Simply flew your girl, Melissa, over to Honda Rica. Lisa? Uh. Melissa? Well, well, where is she? We left the rod down over at the club. And Lagos, and we'll tell you. Henderson! Henderson! You keep our public ladies. But, fellows, so that would be like cutting my own throat. But, uh, strictly on the QT, I'm going to be the next Chief Justice. And when I do, I'll give you my personal guarantee that I'll give you a stay of execution. Now, where is she? Better than nothing. We left her at the Club Carib. Club Carib? Thank you. Mi puño. Due to technical difficulties, un momento, por favor. Anderson, come here! I just got great news. My girl's in town. I thought I'd take the launch and, you know... Women? You can think of women on the eve of victory? Chief, you know, a man gets a little... Uh, you know what I mean, after six months. Uh... Very well. Decide for yourself. But you know very well the price for desertion. And now, me puno, to discuss our national purpose. As you know, Man has risen above the apes. He has closed himself at the I am not so sure. He has built homes, cultivated land. I'm sick of all this yammer about national purpose. I got my own purpose. It is far from satisfying. See, I would like never again to eat another coconut. Also, I would like to look at something which does not got whiskers. These are people who advanced against great odds for the betterment of people. Because people do not know what they should have. But I, Maximo Toro, know what the people of Honduras need. Therefore, I shall lead you, my followers, to the glorious victory you all deserve. Under my leadership, Honduras will become a glorious nation among nations, with a voice that will be heard and understood throughout the world. Instead of talk, there shall be action. Maximo has spoken. And I know that his loyal followers will pick up whatever weapons they have and join me in my grand... I would make a first-rate hog call. Sugar Pipe Products Development Corporation shall be for the people. You take command. So until mañana, mi fellow puño y compañero, hasta la vista. That is the worst speech I ever heard. I'm sorry, sir. Maybe I better shut up. Yes, sir. Most of the men issue the rifles. I will march on the Capitol at dawn. Yes, sir. You are an idiot. Yes, sir. Don't stop agreeing with me. No, sir. Clock, left. Oh, Longhorn, he's having a party. 
Longhorn? Oh, yes, he is a friend of mine. But Melissa, we... Oh, come on, I'll Melissa. tell you about Melissa! No, Capitan. Ain't no party without a little grog. Pardon me, ladies. Amigo, you know? This coconut juice? I think she is ferment. You think? See, si. it is give delusions. For on a momento, I think I see one bonito muchacho. But, but Mira, it cannot be. Was she so pretty as Chiquita? First one catch me, gonna get a kiss. Could you open these bottles for me? to go lie down, maybe. Oh, feel me, Corazon. Do you not realize? Three hours? Well, she hardly cut now. Unfortunately, we weren't successful. You boys take to the plane. I got a few little ladies I want to escort home. I will not oh. ride in the plane with them. I will not budge. Oh, I yes, will not go anywhere with you. You put me down. Put me down. <laughs> What is 
is this? I will muster them in myself. Did you know this was going on? No, sir. The boy should have told us. Henderson! Henderson! What are all these jeeps and girls doing in my camp? Henderson! I'll try to find him, sir. Stupido. You are Henderson. Oh, I am? <laughs> Lech, I'm afraid Major Henderson has been drinking. You know the penalty. Yes, sir. I am declaring this place off limits. Three your quarters at once! Let them have it, ladies! <laughs> Take care of him. like a plucked chicken.
They have to show me. I'm glad. I hate crowds. Do you realize, Boswell, we have never been alone? Women, you should have gone with your father. But I do not want to go with my father. I want to be with you. Do not be discouraged, my sweet. Even Caesar had his setbacks. He did not have to deal with cowards such as these. Darling, men of destiny cannot be long suppressed. The people will discover their vital need for you. You're right. The sugar program will fail without me. On the Rico will crawl to El Toro on hands and knees. And I will be ready. <laughs> you look mighty snappy in that outfit. Thank you, sir. Never miss. Oh, no? <laughs> <laughs> ha, 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 ha,